Hello everyone, my name is Filip. Uh, I'm a Cardano technical consultant for the Revuto team and an R Fund Scout. And today I will be talking about Project Catalyst a little bit. So what is Project Catalyst? Project Catalyst is a governance experiment initiated by IOG, one of the founding entities of Cardano. It's internally called a Voltaire testnet. If you remember from our previous videos, Voltaire is the final stage of uh, Cardano development. It's the stage where the governance of the whole protocol of the whole project should be released to the wider community of ADA holders. So, since it is a pretty big task, a monumental task, uh, uh, Catalyst is an initial version to try and experiment the best ways to get there, to get to full decentralization of the protocol, right? So in its current iteration, Catalyst is a decentralized fund. It's a decentralized fund where ADA holders decide uh, which initiatives, which projects get funded so they can roll out in the, in the market. The amount of uh, funds started at $250,000 back in Fund 2, which was the first fund with actual money being distributed. Uh, right now we are at Fund 8. Fund 8 is currently ongoing. There is $16 million to be distributed. And uh, since today the funds double each of the funding rounds. Where does the money come from? Uh, the money comes from the Cardano Treasury. Cardano Treasury is being replenished and filled up uh, every time a transaction is, has been executed on the Cardano network. A small fee is charged and a part of that fee goes to the Treasury and another part goes to the stake pool operators. So, uh, how does it work? So, if you are a proposer, there are a couple of roles that you can take within Project Catalyst. You can be a proposer, you can be a community advisor, a veteran community advisor, you can be a voter, and so on and so on. There are, there are other roles as well. So proposers are uh, teams or individuals looking for funding from Project Catalyst. Uh, their goal is to, uh, to present their idea, their project as clearly as possible to the wider community. So the first step they have to do is create a proposal, uh, basically a text and a set of materials that voters and other participants can go through and make their own decision, will they or won't they vote for a specific project. Uh, so this whole fund, let's say in Fund 8, it's 16 million, it's divided into sub-funds, which are called challenges. So challenges are specific uh, challenges that Cardano encounters that we would like to solve. So let's say one of the challenges in Fund8 is uh, open source developer ecosystem or dApps and integrations or uh, DAOs or things like that. So you, you as a proposer choose which fund suits your project the best, uh, where your project can make the most impact regarding that specific challenge and you propose there. So when you write your proposal out, CAs and VCAs come into play first. CAs or community advisors, uh, their job is to assess your proposal based on criteria of impact, feasibility, and auditability. So basically they give you a star rating, one to five stars, and that rating is later uh, visible to the voters when they vote. The higher your rating, of course, you know, the, the, usually the higher your chances are to, to get funded. It's not, uh, community advisors are not a decision-making role. They're not the deciders, but they are assessors and advisors. So when community uh, advisors uh, give their assessments, uh, you as a proposer have the right to uh, flag the assessments that you find unfair. If you have been treated unfairly, if you think that community advisor didn't properly read your proposal or didn't understand, etc., etc., you can flag the assessment. And then in the following week, 
veteran community advisors review all the assessments, focusing first on the flagged ones, because the flagged ones are obviously ones that are, there is some problem with them. And they decide whether these assessments are, you know, fair, unfair, and they filter out the assessments that are unfair. After all of that, the, the score is calculated, your one to five star score is calculated, and that score is put into a voting app. And in the end, of course, voters are the deciders. Any wallet, any Cardano wallet that has 500 ADA or more staked is eligible to vote. To vote on any and all proposals, whichever ones you like, you can vote yes, no, or abstain. The proposals that get the most amount of ADA votes get funded, right? So where does Revuto fit in all of that? Uh, Revuto actually did a catalyst proposal back in Fund 4. Before the proposal actually went out to vote, Revuto withdrew the proposal because of the ongoing, ongoing ICO at the time. Uh, we just felt that since we're having an ICO, it's kind of unfair to also ask the money from the community fund, from the decentralized fund, and we withdrew our proposal at that time. Uh, ICO went well, so we got funded and uh, turned, out, turned out well for, for everybody. Uh, on the last note, I am an active participant in the Project Catalyst for about a year now. The community is very vibrant, uh, very active, uh, very welcoming, so I urge you and I invite you to participate however you want, in any capacity you want. Uh, you can propose if you have a project, uh, you can be a community advisor, you can just come and meet the people. If you log in to cardano.ideascale.com, you, you can find all the necessary information that will enable you to participate more actively. Thank you very much.